Good afternoon. Today is maintenance day. So just simple stuff like running the lawnmower and running the three generators I have. Just let them run for a little bit. You know, when you if you don't we haven't needed them for quite a while, so I'm just afraid that if I don't run it, uh, they're not gonna start. Things will get clogged up. So that's what we're gonna do today and uh take you along for a little bit of the ride. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this, remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel and hopefully pass along some information to people who are uh, wanting to try starting from scratch with homesteading or farming and learn from my mistakes. And maybe I'll do something right along the way. So first, so first we're starting with the Zero Turn Cub Cadet. It's uh, it hasn't been run in a while, so we're hoping that that'll work. Let it run for quite a bit. Move on next to the uh, generators one at a time while this runs. Okay, so now bring out one of my champion generators that I got from uh, Tractor Supply. Yeah, let's see if it starts. I hope it does. Okay. Come on. Fuel's on. Put the choke on. All right, that one started. And I'll show you what it is later. It's a 3,600 watts, I believe. But we'll show you, and it's helped run things here at the barn a couple of times. Now to go get the next generator. Also, a champion generator from Tractor Supply. They've come in handy when we've lost power. Go ahead and give that a choke. All right, well, I'm going to have to work on that one and see why it won't start. But first, get out our small Honda generator we've had for years. I think putting these generators in the back of the gator and then I can take my small welding machine with me to take care of some welding projects around the place when I need to. This one will put it on choke. Make sure this is on. on. All right, well, that's gonna need some work too. So we'll get back to those in just a minute. I think I need to put a couple of things away. So the zero turn will be first. I love these things. As you can probably see from the video, I have a lot of stuff in here that is going to need to be moved once we get the house completed. We can move some stuff into the barn and maybe get another uh, shed for all the garden stuff. 
All right, it's, it's time to take in the one that's running and then work on the ones that aren't. Yeah, I've, you know, rebuilt some carburetors on these things a couple times. Uh, you know, after they've been sitting for a while. I thought this time I had been pretty good about the maintenance on them. And uh, apparently, I may have been lacking on, I may not have started them as often as I needed to. So we're going to see what happens next here with this one. All right, so we get to see if there's fuel first. Yeah, there's a little bit in there, not much, but I'm hoping to run it down anyway since uh, I need to get, get everything out of the carburetor and all and, and want to clean it up. Choke on the fuel. The fuel is on. I think. Let's see. Yes, the fuel is on. That's interesting. I don't even think I'm getting a spark on that one. Well, all right, so that's not going to start, so maybe the next video we'll be taking it down. Here's my little Honda generator. Put that on. That's on. And then put the choke on. And there we go. That one started up, so apparently I forgot to turn on the on switch on the gas cap. I guess that allows it to drain. We'll let this run a little bit. And then I'll get then I'll get started on the other one. Yeah. This one will need a little work. Here we go. Gonna adjust that a little bit. Let that run for a few minutes and then we'll get started on that other generator. Well, here it is. This is the generator that would not start. The others I got started. This is a uh, Champion 3500. I've had this for a lot of years and it's done some good work but over the years and it's my probably my fault it it, uh, it has started giving me some problems and as you saw earlier I could not get it started the uh, there's still a little fuel in there although it's pretty close to empty so I want to see if there's any fuel in the bowl first and in the past I've had Fairly good luck by draining out the bowl and maybe there's some sediment to water in the way. We'll see if that works. If not, I may try to put a little more fuel in there uh, just to see how that starts. I, I'm out of uh, starter spray, but I wasn't really sure I was getting a uh, spark. Anyway, here's a carburetor. I'm going to drain the bowl right here. That is a uh, 10 millimeter. So we'll go ahead and get that and see what happens. Okay, kind of set that back out in the shade of my camera, my phone, because last time I tried this and it was sunny out, it overheated. But let's see what, uh, and move off to the side. Hopefully you can see this a little better. 
but like I said this is a 10 millimeter huh, interesting here we go that was a little tight So far, there we go. It took a second to get things running. I should have probably. Probably put on gloves for this. All right, we'll put this down here. And then let's come over here and see if we can get this started now that we did that. Make sure everything put this to on. There we go. And then come over here and uh, Put this on choke. That's open. All right. Well, we got it started. It is not running well at all. There we go. Now it's running better. So anyway, mission accomplished. Drained the bowl a little bit. I don't know if maybe there's some water sediment or something in there. Drained the bowl. Uh, made sure everything was turned on and choked. Started it up and it started to run rough. And then uh, all of a sudden it cleared up. So running good. I'm going to let it run for a few minutes. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you like it. I'm just getting started learning how to do this. So any suggestions would be greatly appreciated. The, the next one is going to be the repair I promised on this. I was going to do that today. I have to weld it. But my truck's in the shop and my welding jacket is in the truck. And I won't do anything without my, all my personal protective equipment. So once again, thanks very much. I uh, hope you have a blessed day. And uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and help me make this channel even better. Thank you.